Hello everybody, how we doing today? So this today's review, we're going to be talking about the first in the Masterpiece Brave series, which is Brave Fighter X Kaiser, King X Kaiser. So this is the first of two in the Masterpiece Brave series, and um, it's a very cool looking box, as most Masterpiece boxes are. So you got uh, the King Loader and X Kaiser there, Dragon, Dragon Kaiser, King X Kaiser, King X Kaiser back of the box which shows x kaiser as vehicle mode all the accessories king x kaiser the uh, king loader brave fighter x kaiser it's the top of the box bottom of the box and he actually can open up so if you had the figure in there you see more of that stuff which is really cool and the figure would be right there so masterpiece brave mpb01 so Here we have the figure itself and all of his accessories. So here's X Kaiser and the King Loader. Here we have all of his accessories. So he's got an extra chest piece, some alternate hands, some effects parts, a stand, a Kota. I think his name is. I've never actually watched the show. Um, Mario the dog. And we'll talk about all that stuff when we um, actually get to the transformation, but now let's go ahead and talk about, um, we'll talk about x Geyser first. So he is a little sports car. He's a very, very small sports car. He's tiny. Excuse me. But he still looks really cool. Um... And he's kind of heavy because he's got some die cast in him. But his transformation is very, very, very simple. Um, we'll go ahead and just rotate this piece. So it goes legs. Push the legs down. Open this piece up. Push that down. And just straighten the arms out. And then pull this forward, which you might need some help doing and there you go you got x kaiser and i don't know if this is going to be the case for everybody's but mine is a floppy floppy mess i mean i can't get his arms to stay for the life of me which i might be able to fix with like a floor polish or something but holy crap this is not this is not good at all. This is really floppy. But that wouldn't fix the loose leg joints on mine. I don't know if this is gonna be a case for everybody's, but man, mine's super duper loose. But I also got mine used, so you probably got a lot of play. Um so we we'll go ahead and we'll pull um this chest piece out, which actually does come out. So boom, and you can replace it with this one, which looks a lot cooler. And this is the one he would use when he was in battle. Though I kind of wish, instead of a, a chest change gimmick, I wish it was just a chest flop. So we'll go ahead and we'll put him on his stand, just to show that you can do it. And A, it's weird, though, that this form gets the stand. The King X Kaiser doesn't have a stand. I guess if you wanted to, like, display them both. But, you know. Um, he has, like I said, all those accessories, so you can just insert them in his arm. So there you go. Whoosh. Whoosh. And if you want to, you can change out the hands, which is very easy to do, actually. So he's got five alternate hands. I'm missing. I can't find it. I know I have it, but the coming to loss in the move is he has a small pointy hand. But again, it's not the biggest deal for me because I never keep him in this mode. <laughs> But, you know, if he weren't so floppy, he'd actually be really poseable because there's ball joints all over the place. So you could actually, if you can, 
if you got one that's not super loose, he actually is very posable. And I'm thinking about either buying a new one or tightening this one up because holy, this is super loose. But I mean, he's just, he's the, for me, he's just a core robot because I don't ever keep him in this mode. But speaking of that, that's where this comes into play. So let's go ahead and get everything folded out correctly. Here we have the King Loader, which is really the core portion of the figure. This is where most of the magic comes in. He's, I mean, in the show, he, I mean, he is the center of it. He is the core, like, he is the consciousness, and this is more just like a body, this is more just body armor for him. I think a lot of where, uh, like, Star, a lot like Star Saber or um, a Headmaster or something like that. It's Brave. Brave is a lot like those Japanese exclusive Transformer shows, but... You know what's cool? Um, it has a flight mode for some reason. So if you do this, and then pull the wings out, and then fold that down. Boom! Flight mode. But this is really just like a halfway transformation point. So speaking of the halfway transformation point, let's go ahead and do the transformation, which is the fun part of the figure, in my opinion, because I love how Brady figures transform. So we got him like this right now. Go ahead and fold the landing gear up, and these are going to be his feet. Go ahead and fold this up like that. And close it up. There we go. All straightened out. Open these up. Open that up, push all these in, push the shoulder pads out, push this down, and now here comes the fun part. So getting him in there is kind of a pain. So you're gonna wanna get him kind of like this. Then there are two slots in the back that he's going to fit in. So doing this on camera is going to be a nightmare. But let's go ahead and put the camera up, actually, so you can see what I'm doing. Yeah. So this is, this is the hardest part of the whole figure, is getting him in there. Then you can, if you want to, push his arms in, and we'll just we'll go ahead and do that. And then put his put his fallen head crest back in, and start closing everything up. There we go. We'll just go ahead and leave the arms like that. It's much easier. We'll close it up. To turn the head around, and we'll go ahead and look at the face sculpt. He's got a mouth, but he looks much cooler with his face plate on. So then, turn the hands out. We 
which normally don't give me that much trouble. <laughs> and then pull that forward, open the mouth. Boom. King X Geyser. Now this is the mode the toy really shines in. For all the looseness problems I had with, um, on you close, close these bits up too. For all the looseness problems I had with, um, X Geyser, King X Geyser really doesn't have those problems. Aside from, like, this shoulder joint right here, which really isn't that big of a deal in this form, he's very solid. Legs go forward, back, he's got a knee, he's got ankles, no waist Obviously, because how he transforms, I just would not be able to engineer one. His head's on a ball joint, and elbows, shoulders, you know, everything you need aside from a waist joint, he's got. And I mean, he can move his legs out, but doesn't go very far. But it's pretty cool. So he'll get. He's got accessories again up the wazoo. So. You can change out the hands, which is a bit harder to do on um, King X Kaiser than it was on just regular old X Kaiser because they're bigger and it's a moving joint. But you can now point at things heroically. Just a, or you could be like. Kaiser Shuriken or whatever that's called. And just point point at things. We're gonna go ahead and put in this hand. That's kind of at an angle. I mean we're gonna give him his weapon of victory here. So you open both the shin guards. Is that stuck in there? <laughs> oh man, I am not doing this toy justice. <laughs> there we go. So then you take these two pieces. Put them together. And, um, there's his weapon. The Kaiser sword, um, no, no, that's, 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 that's terrible. Why would that ever be his weapon? Why would that ever, oh, wait a minute. Now that's a weapon. Yeah, this... This is strictly to like emulate how he does it in the show, but I personally just um, leave it in his shin guards and pretend it's not there. That's just me. Your toy, do whatever you want with it, but. Oh boy. This is not cooperating with me. I swear, there's the recording curse is real. There we go. So yeah, like I said, he's um one of the only two in this line. And it's unfortunate because this is actually a really, really cool toy, despite my my failings of it. Um, he is kind of on the small side, if you compare him with another brave figure that I've reviewed. The Soul of Chagokin Galgaigar. He's a lot smaller. But, you know, that's neither here nor there. But he's a good figure. I do like him quite a bit. I love his design. I love how he transforms. The only part about this figure I really don't like, and this, again, is probably just my copy, but, dude, that little X-Kaiser figure is just super floppy. 
super floppy. And sword's kind of loose, but it's okay. It works just fine. Um, I really like this figure. He's not overly expensive. Um, I got him for about 120 I usually seem to go for about 150 to one, uh, 200 uh, If you could pay, I'd say 150 is a good price for him. 200 is a little much, but 150 is good. Especially if you can get um, his ride, which I will talk about next time. But I don't know if it's possible to create his Thunder Flash attack as a pose. Probably, but... That said, I didn't even go over all his features. He's got, um, Vulcans in his shins. <laughs> there you go. There's also a torch in his mouth. But that's about it. Um, like I said, he's a, he's a nice looking figure. He's got a fun transformation. He's a little on the small side. I think he's small. I think he's, he's smaller than, like, Prime, but I think he's bigger than, like, um, Prowl and all those guys. So, he's a fun toy. I like him quite a bit. I wish this line continued past two, but, you know, what can you do? I think they lost, Takara lost the license to Bandai, but that's going to be it for this review. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Have a great one. Bye.